We are going to begin our exploration of continuous probability distributions with a distribution that may seem familiar. It's one that we have used with discrete probability distributions previously. And that is a uniform probability distribution. And like we learned previously, uniform means that every outcome has the same probability of occurring. A uniform probability distribution models events or intervals that are equally likely to occur, such as the time that you spend waiting for a university shuttle, or the duration of baseball games during the season, or the time that a mechanic takes to change your oil. All of these are continuous uniform probability distributions. If you go to get on a shuttle, your wait time may be zero, or it may max out at 15 minutes if you just missed the last shuttle. When it comes to changing your oil, the oil change time is unlikely to be zero, but there will be a minimum time that is required to change the oil, and probably a maximum time as well. We are interested in intervals within those distributions, times equal to and less than certain values, or between two values. The probability in a uniform distribution equals the area under the graph of the frequency. So for instance, the probability of shuttle arrival less than or equal to six minutes, when the time frame is a maximum of eight minutes, is three quarters of the area underneath the graph. Therefore, the probability of arrival in less than or equal to six minutes is 0.75. The probability for a range of values, therefore, is proportional to the length of the interval. Let's use this same example to answer a few questions about uniform probability. Starting with this, what is the probability of an x value, a wait time, less than or equal to 4? We can see that the values range from 0 to 8, and 4 is half of that length. Therefore, the probability of a wait time less than or equal to 4 is 0 0.50, half of the interval. What is the probability between 6 and 8 minutes? Well, 6 to 8 is 1 quarter of that distribution. Therefore, the probability of a wait time between 6 and 8 minutes is 0.25. We can also use this uniform distribution to find the expected value, the mean, and the variance of the times in this interval. Here is the density function for uniform probability. It's 1 over the maximum minus the minimum. Note, too, that values exceeding the maximum or less than the minimum have a frequency or an expected value of zero. The formula for expected value is add the minimum and maximum, divide by two. And the variance, subtract the minimum from the maximum, square it, and divide by 12. So let's use an example of a uniform probability distribution and see how it works. The cruise ship runs a tender shuttle service between the ship and a private island. The travel time is uniformly distributed between 9 to 13 minutes. When you jump on that shuttle, it will take between 9 and 13 minutes to arrive. These times are reported in 30 second intervals, or a total of 8 intervals over the 4 minutes. So let's calculate the mean and the variance for this distribution. The expected value, or mean, is the minimum plus the maximum, 9 plus 13 divided by 2, or 11 minutes. The variance around these times is the maximum minus the minimum, or 13 minus 9, which is 4, squared, and divided by 12 for a variance of 1.33. We can take the square root of the variance to get the standard deviation, which would be 1.15. And now we can answer some questions about the probability of specific arrival times. For example, what is the probability of arriving in less than 12 minutes, or six of the eight intervals? 
In this case, we're going to multiply by 2 because of the 30 second intervals rather than the 1 minute intervals. 6 of 8 intervals is 3 quarters of the distribution. Therefore, the probability of arriving of in less than 10 minutes is 0.75. What would be the probability of an arrival time between 11 and 12 minutes? To answer this, we should consider the interval within this distribution. 11 to 12 minutes is two of the eight intervals, which would be one quarter of the distance underneath the distribution. Therefore, the probability of an arrival between 11 and 12 minutes is 0.25. How about this? What is the probability of an arrival less than eight minutes? We look at our distribution and the minimum score is nine. Therefore, the probability of an arrival less than nine minutes or greater than 13 minutes is zero. I have created an Excel spreadsheet that can help us calculate probabilities for a uniform continuous probability distribution. And we'll take a look at that in our next video.